Good day, class. Welcome to Fine Art Lesson. Today, I'm going to be taking you on museums in Nigeria. Our lesson objectives. At the end of the day, you should be able to describe the term museum. You should be able to outline the different types of museum. And thirdly, you should be able to enumerate the functions of museum. Now, what is a museum? Museum is a place where artifacts, precious objects, and information such as cultural, scientific, historical, and artistic are kept for records, safekeeping, and viewing. That is, our precious objects are old objects, things that have been used in the past that are very important to us around the world, that we do not want to lose, that we want to pass to, from one generation to another. Museum is a place where you can keep them. Now, let's have a brief history of museum in Nigeria. First museum to be established in Nigeria was by Mr. Kenneth Murray. It was in Just Play 2, and that was in 1943. Another museum established in Nigeria afterwards are a Sierra Museum, where we have the stone, the largest piece of stone sculpture, soap stone sculpture in Africa. Lagos Museum. Most of us might have been there, or if you have not been there, you must, must have been aware of what Lagos is all about. Lagos Museum was established in 1957, and in 1958, Oran Museum was established too. Benin Museum, that our popular place, that our ancient city, was established in 1960 after the after the uh, the celebration of the independence. Now, the Kaduna Museum in the northern part of Nigeria was established in 1975. Now, let's have this note. Now, the establishment of museum had since then spread across Nigeria. Presently, each state of the federation has its own our own museum, well-established and standard museum. Now, types of museum. There are specialized types of museum and are at different locations in Nigeria. This one includes one, general museum. In general museum, what you find there are arts and artifacts in general. Now, we have them, we have that, those ones in Ilefe in Nigeria, especially the Bafimalo University and in the, and in the town. Then Lagos, then Benin Museum, and Just Museum. Now, the object to be found now is cults, bones, the relics, utensils, masks, then sculptures, and jewelries. You can see this, the mask of the Festa 77 mask. Then you can see the Benin head. Then you can see this pot, the Asian pot that history do not want to leave. Now you can see this. This, 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 uh, now, this image, especially, was carted away by the, during the punitive expedition by the Britons. And by, we're still asking for them. And I'm sure very soon something's going to happen. We're going to have them back in this country. Now, World Museum. Now, location, Uma here, Lagos. Uma here in the eastern part of Nigeria. Lagos in the western part of Nigeria. And objects to be found in World Museum are guns, you know, Things that are related to war. Guns, arrows, bows, war planes, armor tanks, swords, knives, and other sophisticated, sophisticated and local war implements. Sorry, class. Now, you can see the image of the warship. You can see the image of the war plane. You can see the image of this from the probably from the civil war that, was, that we had in Nigeria. So if you go to Imahia Museum, if you find yourself in Lagos, you can visit Lagos Museum. You see some of these things, they are there in the museum. And next is Fossil Museum. Now I told you it has to do with relics, bones, shells. My thing you can see the beauty of the sea. Now, you can find them in Obafemalo University, Ilefe. When you get to the Museum of Natural Science in OAU, you see some of these things there. Now, there are bones. You can see ivory there, ivory from the elephant. You can see, you can see seeds there, plants, shell of various types, beautiful ones. Historical Museum. 
it has to do with history. History that will, things we want to keep that we do want, not want to leave behind. Location, Badagre. That one is very prominent. Ah, I wish we can have our way and find ourselves in Badagre. Oh, very wonderful place. Badagre in Lagos State. The University of Ibadan in New York State. The items will be found are notes, scrapbooks, written records and reports, currencies, past currencies, then postage stamps that have been used. Unlike now that we have the, the, the internet and the rest. Now, state items and where, where, such as chains, padlocks, plates, boats, etc. Why I mentioned about that video was it has to do with the slave trade. During the abolition of slave trade, and slave trade and the slaves are taken from Africa, as well as Nigeria, from that place then. Things that were used, the chains, the padlocks, and many things that were used by the slaves, things that were left behind there by those. Then where, that's where you even have the, the building of Ajay Krada, where the first Bible was written, the man that translated the English Bible to Europe. But precisely, now we have a lot of things that have to do with history. You can see some of them. You can see knock, this knock figure, this old currencies in Nigeria. You can see this one of the, the, this one of the uh, things that were used to hold the slaves then. then. You can see this information, like an, an empire, a king with his wife, the, with his guards, the children, and his empire. Now you can see it is very, very wonderful and beautiful. Now, for, lastly, we're going to be considering the functions of museum. Now, this, this following are the general functions of museum, which includes preservation of antiquities. You can see that those things that we do not want to leave, you cannot just leave them beside you in your house, they can get damaged. But when you put them in the museum, they are preserved, then you can have information about them. Then, creation of cultural awareness among citizens and business. That is, you want to know what were in the past. Things that were before you were given back to, even before our great grandfather now. How do we get to know about them if there is no information? That's why we have the museum. Now, when you go there, when you see them, it gets us aware about things that were in the past, then you can tell people about it. Now, now, sustenance of people's culture from one generation to the other. Things that have happened. How do we sustain the culture? Then we have to like, then sustenance of historical records. That is, then finally, for research purpose. And thank you very much. That comes to the end of the show. Now let's go to the Google Classroom. Take, do your class tasks and ask me necessary questions and be appropriate. Thank you very much. See you again.